My name is Gareth Cliff and you're watching Joburg Today. We look at an African designer from the continent making moves in the Joburg fashion industry. Check this out. As we continue commemorating the second largest continent in the world, we take a closer look at the prides that live in Johannesburg. Today's success story is all about the business of fashion, incorporating the African print with the Western. But let's start here. Why Johannesburg? Joburg has great opportunities, especially in this market. Um, in Mozambique, back home, there's, like I said, there's quite a lot of people, but it is not advanced. Everyone can do it. M most of the people can do it. I came to Joburg quite a long time ago when I was still at primary school. But uh, as I grew up, I realized my passion, that's what I pursued. Well, I was lucky to be brought here very early because of the better opportunity there is here. Tina tells us she quit about four jobs in pursuit of fashion designing. She details her choice in combining totally different styles. People love the Western style, you know, um, the suits, the all glammed up look. But then they didn't have the opportunity to express their culture in that sense. So I thought, okay, since I love working with uh, African print, most of the time the Kaplana, which you can see, I thought, let me bring that together. I mean, create that Western style into the African print and see how the people will react to it. So they really loved it. I believe bringing that, those two together would um, get me more clients. I will not be stuck only in one category, not the traditional sense, you understand? So it brought me more people. So what makes her unique? There's quite a lot of us. So I believe that the cake is big enough for everybody. So you just try to be unique in your own way. I try to be unique in everything I do. So all the prints that I get, I try to get um, one specific one just for you. I do not duplicate it for other people. That's what makes me unique and attracts people more to me. And the way I design it as well, I sit with the client and I get to understand what the client wants. That makes me unique. I sketch it down, the client understands what they want and then I'm able to do it for them. Johannesburg is home to generations of migrants just like Tina who strive to be African success stories. After spending a little bit of time with Tina, I can tell you that she is driven by both her passion for the African print and her strong desire to succeed in Johannesburg. Now, she makes garments for both males and females, and as you can see, I've just added a brand new item to my African collection. 